What's up? It's the fall anime season, and I I'm gonna do with you guys a thing that I do every season. I I'm gonna I'm gonna read the synopsis of some animes. I like animes, and there's there's a lot of them each season. There's usually like 20 something new series. With TV shows, you can just check them out as they come. There's rarely 20 new shows in a year, much less a season. But anime goes hard, so let's just do it. Let's do it. Terraformars by Linden Films. It's a manga adaption with Earth becoming increasingly overpopulated, an ambitious plan has been put into place to terraform Mars using mold and cockroaches. Uh, nearly 500 years after the plan, a mission to Mars, Annex 1, is underway to accomplish crucial research, crucial research into the virus currently plaguing mankind with the crew members who've been injected with various DNA of life on Earth in order to combat the terraformars, giant humanoid cockroaches. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll give that a chance. Tribe Cool Crew by Sunrise. The protagonist, Hanaru, is a middle school student who loves dancing. He can't sit still as he even feels the rhythm of the sound of chalk in class. Aww. One day after school, Hanaru meets Cannon, who is practicing dancing at a secret training facility. What? 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 Okay. Uh, the two know the joy of dancing together with others for the first time and the happiness of seeing their own dance moves. Japan's first full-fledged dance anime depicting coming of age through meeting friends and dance battles with rivals debuts. Uh, it's that dance movie for kids. As in, I, I'll give it a shot, I guess. I'm not expecting much. Aikatsu 3. Oh, this is a by sunrise. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing so many. You can't do all the series, sunrise. Um, Den Denki. Uh, I'm skipping that, by the way, because um, cause it's a continuation. I'm just going to check out the new series. I, I don't know what Aikatsu is, and I'm not going to be watching it because it's... Uh. Denki Gai no Hanya San by Shine Animation. Um... Uh, the youthful bookstore comedy revolves around the folks who work in a manga shop deep in a certain electric town neighborhood. The protagonist, Umio, works part-time at Books Umanahonanenno. Along with his senior at work, but not in age, Hiotan. Hiotan? As many dedicated manga fans visit the store, there is always something going on. So basically... Is these two girls working in a manga store having to deal with sweaty otaku, probably. I'll try it. A Maggie Brilliant Park by KyoAni. Uh, I guess I've already decided that I'm going to be checking this out because it's, it's by KyoAni, so. Uh, the slapstick drama begins with Sayakani, a high school boy who is invited on a date in an amusement park by a mysterious, beautiful transfer student named... Isuzu Sento. He is introduced to Ratifa, a real princess and the park's manager, and is asked to be the acting manager of this disappointing amusement park in the Tokyo suburbs. What? What? I. What did I just read? Oh, it's a light novel adaption. That makes sense. <laughs> um, Donna Gadnani. Wo Ituru Kawakaraka Ken by Seven. Anime follows the daily life of an earnest, hardworking office lady named Karu and her otaku husband, who is totally immersed in a certain huge net bulletin board system. So basically, it's about being married to someone who uses 4chan. Cool. I'm gonna watch that. Um. Gundam Gino Recognicuista by Sunrise. Again, seriously? Three series? Their animation is probably shit. I, I hope they put all the animation quality into the dance one. Because, I mean, it's dancing. Um, Alright, let's read this. 
Some time has passed since the end of the universal century, a history marked by space colonization and space warfare, human in the, human, human, human in the prosperity, which ushered in a new era known as Red Gold Century, was believed to endure alongside the global peace. It is the year RC 1014. The capital tower is an orbital elevator that rose above the Earth's surface and linked Earth and space. As the conduit to, of the photon battery energy source to the surface, it is regarded as sacred. Barubi Zenamu Bibibi Tenemu is in the middle of training for the Capital Guard established to protect the Capital Tower when the tower is attacked by G. Seraph a highly maneuverable mobile suit with technology that is not from any known country. Bibibi, who joins the battle in the maintenance mobile suit, Rekuted, successfully captures the G. Seraph. However, Bibibi feels something for the space pirate girl named Aisha Ray Hanson who piloted the G Seraph it is the same feeling he has for G Seraph even though he's supposedly never seen it before. The G Seraph, which should only be operable under specific conditions, is somehow started up by Burr. The objective of IV and the space pirates who attack the Capitol Tower and the fate followed by Burr, who was chosen by Seraph will lead to truths that will shake the entire Reglid century era. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Not gonna be watching that. <laughs> Danton Ni Warar by Doga Kobo. In the 11th year of the Meiji era, carrying swords was forbidden by the government and those known as samurai were slowly fading away. However, there were plenty who didn't like those changes taking place in Japan and and inevitably the crime rates increased. The country's only solution was an inescapable lake prison. <laughs> uh, since the prison had no other way to access it except by water, the three boys of the Kumo family were assigned to transport the criminals to their new home. Although, is that the only thing they were doing? So it's, so it's Alcatraz. For, for samurai, for ronin samurai, I guess. That could be interesting, maybe. Maidan no Oto Vanadis uh, by Sate Light, light novel adaption. Set in Western Europe during times of war, Eleanor Ellen Vertalia, one of the Vanadis of <laughs> Leads the battle into Brune. There are, in fact, seven Vanadis named for having each received a powerful weapon from the dragon to individually reign over seven territories. The power of the Vanadis invokes dread and fear from their enemies. An earl in the service of the country of Brune, a young archer by the name of Tiger, experienced the Vanadis power firsthand after being defeated on the battlefield by Ellen. <laughs> However, Ellen chose to spare his life after witnessing his skills, but in exchange, he is asked to serve her. Yeah, I'm not really into into fantasy stuffs. Dragons and the... Magic Kaido 1412 by A1 Pictures. Kaido Kuroba, a normal teenage student whose father is often absent when his father dies under mysterious circumstances, he is made aware of his father's secret identity, a famous international criminal known as International Criminal 1412, uh, <laughs> the Phantom Thief, and that he was murdered by a mysterious organization for refusing to aid them in retrieving the Pandora Gem, a mystical stone said to shed a tear during the passing of a particular comet known as the Volley Comet, the consumption of which bestows immortality. Wow. <laughs> he vows to prevent the organization from gaining immort immortality and assumes his father's identity as he begins his quest for the gem. His only clues as to the gem's location are that it glows red under the full moon and that it's a doublet, a gem hidden within a larger <laughs> gem. <laughs> well, hi. 
why 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 does it have to be a gem inside a gem? All right. Um, thus, it would would have to be a relatively large one with a bizarre history and always stored in a place that never receives moonlight. He thus researches and steals famous priceless gems with odd histories from incredibly well defended areas and always returns them after the very next full moon. I see. So it's like uh, he's a he's a thief and dumb stuff. Ah, I'll give it a try. Why not? Why not Magic Kaito 1412? <laughs> Ushinawareta Mirai Mo Wo Moto <laughs> by feel. It's a visual novel adaption. So I'm I'm not going to be watching this at all. Never watch a visual novel adaption ever. They're awful. The story is set one autumn as at the beginning of the 21st century in the Uchihama area. Uchihama Academy is growing by leaps and bounds with the construction of a new school building. There will be one last general club festival at the old building that is slated to be closed. The students vow to go all out to make the final final cultural festival a success. The astronomy club of the of the protagonist, So Akiyama, is filled with the big names on campus. Just before the festival, on October 1st, the club receives a request from the student executive committee to calm the uneasiness among the students. There are, there are reports of ghost sightings, accidents, sleeping sickness, and other mysterious incidents at the old building. When you, Yui Furikawa a quiet girl who transferred late into the school appears before so. The gears of fate slowly begin to move. Cross Ang Tenshi to Ryu no Rondo by Sun Sunrise again. How many? How many of these are you gonna do? Due to humanity obtaining the data technology that has evolved to a great amount called mana. Mana. Why would you call technology man? All right. The human race is able to subjugate all war, starvation, pollution, and other problems on Earth by using its power, which is similar to magic. Uh-huh. Earth has obtained the utopia of complete peace and no want. <laughs> no wants. Someone wrote this weird. Um, first princess of the Mizurugi Empire, Angelese, as with everyone else, she also has no wants or worries. She was celebrated by the people of the Empire and was supposed to wear the crown. However, she realizes the shocking truth that she is Norma. No, she's... What? She's Norma. <laughs> Norma, an, an yeah. Norma, an irregular existence that cannot use mana and are treated... Wait, wait, she can't use mana? She can't use technology. She's like... She's like an, like an old person. And are treated as heretics and as things rather than people. Having every everything stolen from her, she isolates herself on a remote island. Oh, so it really is like she's an old person. <laughs> people think of her as things. And she moves to somewhere nice and warm by the ocean. Makes sense. <laughs> what was waiting for her there was a fateful meeting with a group of Norma girls who know nothing but battle. Well, that's not like my grandma. The girls spend their days riding humanoid robots, weapons called Barameru, hunting giant dragons. <laughs> what? Why are there dragons that have come from another dimension to invade? Having her name taken from her, what will soldier Ang see at the end of the fight? What can she believe in? What will she obtain? The story of a single girl's fortitude starts now. So it's like, it's, it's old ladies in mechas fighting dragons. Nothing, nothing dumb about that. <laughs> Grisaya no Kajisu by 8-Bit. Uh, it's a video game adaption. Okay. A uh, story is set in an academy that is a cloistered orchard, or, 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 orchard. I can't say words. Orchard for girls to be educated and cultivated away from external influences. Five girls spend their lives within these walls in repentance and atonement. So, so they're like nuns, I, I guess. Yuji Kazami, 
has just enrolled as the sole male student there. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not gonna watch that. Namitsu no Taizai by A1 Pictures. When they were accused of trying to overthrow the monarchy, the feared warriors of seven deadly sins were sent into exile. Princess Elizabeth discovers the truth. The sins were framed by the king's guard, the holy knights, too late to prevent them from assassinating her father and seizing the throne. Now the princess is on the run, seeking the sins to help her reclaim the kingdom. But the first sin she meets, Meliodas, is a little innkeeper with a talking pig. Uh, he doesn't even have a real sword. Have the legends of the sin's strength been exaggerated? Um, sounds alright, I guess, maybe. Wait, 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 what genre is it? Supernatural, shonen, fantasy, adventure, action. Um, Ukami Shoujo Tokuro Oji by TYO Animations. The story centers around Erika Shinohara, a vain 16-year-old girl who tells her friends about her romantic exploits, but she actually has no boyfriend. She claims that a handsome boy in a candid photo is her boyfriend, but it turns out that the boy is a schoolmate named Kyokasata. She has no choice but to make him her fake boyfriend. Unfortunately, Sada may look like a sweet person, but he's actually an ultra black-hearted sadist. <laughs> uh, Sada takes advantage of Erika's weakness and treats her like his dog. What genre is this? Comedy school shoujo. Hmm. I I'll, I'll give it a try. Sora No Method by Studio 3 Hertz. And it's an original. The story begins one winter day when the wish of a few girls was realized with a miracle, changing the landscape of a town. In the skies above this town, a disc is always there. Wait, is that it? <laughs> That's the synopsis. Wait, what? The story begins one winter day when the wish of a few girls was realized with a miracle. Okay. Changing the landscape of a town. In the skies above the town, there's a disc always there. Who would wish for a disc in the sky? I don't understand. I'm not, I uh, know. <laughs> I'm not watching this thing about girls with a lily, lily pad. World Trigger by Toei Animation. A gate to another dimension is burst open and from it emerge gigantic invincible creatures that threaten all of humanity. Earth's only defense is a mysterious group of warriors who have co-opted the alien technology in order to fight back. Eh, I, uh, I'll try it, I guess. The question with Toei Animations are, is it going to be a good one? Or is it going to be a bad one? Because Toei, they're either like really good animation or super, super cheap. Gugur, 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 gugure Kokuri san by TMS Entertainment. Uh, the original manga revolves around Kohina, a little girl who ends up summoning by a Kokuri san, a lower ranking ghost in Japanese folklore. The Kokuri San she calls ends up being a white haired, handsome young man. Although he had intended to merely haunt her at first, he becomes worried about her terrible eating habit of cup ramen for every meal. So he decides to haunt her in order to protect her. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I want to know what happens to Ramen Girl. Does he get? Does the ghost get get her to eat healthy? I I gotta know. I gotta know that. <laughs> Kaito Joker, by Shine Animation. In the story, there's nothing in the world that the mysterious phantom thief. We're doing another thief. How many thief shows this season? Mysterious phantom thief Joker cannot steal. He goes after one treasure after another in unpredictable capers with seemingly miraculous tricks. This one looks a little goofy. I'm gonna, uh, no. <laughs> no. Orenchi no Furo Jijo by Asahi Production. 
Uh, Tatsumi is a high school boy who lives by himself. One day, a devastatingly handsome merman <laughs> named Wakasa moves into the bathtub. <laughs> a devastatingly handsome merman moves in... <laughs> I can't. A devastatingly handsome merman named Wak Wakasa moves into the bathtub of Tatsumi's home. Wakasa is a bit self-centered but cute, while Tatsumi is cool but a busybody. Which is in the genres are comedy, fantasy, and shoujo, wouldn't you know it? Um, yeah. Of course I'm going to give this a try. It's got a cute merman. Why wouldn't I watch a... Show about a merman in a bathtub. Shingeki no Bahama Genesis by Mappa. An anime edition of the Rage of Bahamut social card game. And that's all it says. That, that's the synopsis. Do you know the social card? What is a social card game? I've never even heard of what a... Is it a trading card game? Is that what a social card game is? I uh... Akatsuki no Yona by Studio Piro. Since Yona is the only princess in a grand kingdom, she has been raised with great care by her doting father and protected by her childhood friend guard Hak, 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 <laughs> Hak and others. However, her fate changes on her 16th birthday, Sweet 16, when her beloved cousin Su Won murders her father to claim the throne. She flees the castle to Hack's hometown and begins her new life. Nah, nah, nah. Is this is this three D? These characters look kind of look like three D models. I hate three D model character shows. That's starting to become a thing, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They look so creepy. They're such uh, eh, eh. Inno Battle wa Nichijo Ke no Nakade by by Trigger. Uh Trigger did kill a kill. Kill a kill was alright. Uh, so oh uh, that was her first anime ever though, so we'll see if Trigger's second one is any good. It's an adaption of a light novel, so maybe not. <laughs> light novels tend to be kinda not so good. Not as bad as visual novels, but you know. Um, the five members of the literature club awakened with extraordinary powers half a year ago. Although the members expected to be thrown into a world of superpower battles at their school, their normal daily routine continued. No secret organizations bent on world destruction, no superpowered wars, no brave heroes or demon kings. I'm liking this. I am liking this. I don't like any of those things. Thank you for not including those things. However, the members of still look forward to the possibilities of adventure and continue to believe that with each day, they were getting ever closer to those days of fantasy. Their days of romantic comedy and battles with extraordinary powers begin. What? So I guess they're just going to fight each other. <laughs> Roman what is it? It's a comedy fantasy romance school shown in Supernatural. It tells me nothing. Ah, uh, we'll see. Yomushi Pedal Grand Road. Um, this is a this is a second season thing. I shouldn't be talking about it, but I am because um, I like Yomushi Pedal. Although it uses a lot of the three D model stuff, which I just said I don't like. But they put like they draw faces. They only use it for the bodies. They draw faces on so it isn't so creepy. It's still kind of creepy. I love this show because it, it constantly produces screenshots. Just stuff you want to screenshot. Because the characters are wacky. It's it's just bike biking. They're, they're on bicycles and they race. They got those creepy fingers. Those creepy 3D model fingers and hands. Ugh. Anyways, Gundam, didn't we just say Gundam, or, yeah, there's Gundam Gino Rekagista, and now there's also Gundam Build Fighters Try. That's two Gundam, and it's by Sunrise. Was the other one by Sunrise? Yeah, that was by Sunrise too. What the hell, Sunrise? 
Apparently Sunrise have two Gundam series coming out this season, along with a bunch of other mecha shows and the one with the dancey kids. The dancey kids. How, how, they're all going to look like shit. I bet they use 3D models too. I mean, it's, it's kind of alright if it's mecha, but... Alright, um, the story of Gonna Build Fighters Try is set seven years after the end of the first series when Lori says, uh, Reggie, when Lori say and Reggie won the seventh Gunpla Battle World Championships. Now Seiho Academy Gunpla Battle Club has only one member, Hoshino Fumina, who is a third grade student in junior high. As the president of the club, she needs two more members to participate in the upcoming All Japan Gunpla Battle Championships. One day, she encounters a transfer student named Kamiki Sekai, who has traveled around for Kenpo training with his master. Then joined by a young Gunpla builder, Kosaka Yuma, their challenge to the Gunpla battle begins. So basically, the other Gundam series is the adult Gundam series, and this is the kids' Gundam series. There's, there's a Gundam for everyone. Sunrise makes sure of that. Trinity 7, 7 Nin no Maho Sukai by 7 Arcs. Wait, what? Trinity 7, 7 Nin no Maho Sukai by 7 Arcs. That's three sevens, and it says Trinity. Trinity 7. Ah, In this romantic comedy but sometimes serious magical school story, life as Arata Kasuga knows it. it is wiped out. What? Who wrote this? Life as Arata Kasuga knows it is wiped out by a bizarre incident known as Collapse Phenomenon, which causes worldwide destruction and takes his cousin Hiriji Kasuga to the next world to resolve the Collapse Phenomenon and bring back Kijiri. Arata enrolls in the Royal Biblia Academy, waiting in the school are seven beautiful female magic users, the Trinity Seven. What? <laughs> no. Daito Shoken no Hitsu Jajiji by Hoods Entertainment. The story is set at Shiomi Academy, a vast prestigious academy with a Daito Shoken, literally great library. Thank you, translator's note. That rivals Japan's national library. As a member of the library club, Kyotaro Kake goes to Daito Shoken to enjoy reading by himself. He then meets a second-year girl named Sugumi Shirataki through the efforts of a so-called shepherd who fulfills people's wishes. Eventually, more girls join the club thanks to the shepherd. What? So, so a guy goes to the library, reads books, makes a wish to a sh shepherd who, who shepherds girls to him. He's like, I, w I, want, I want girls to come to the library and read with me. Your, your will is done. I bring you girls. No. <laughs> Kiseju by Madhouse Studios. They arrive in silence and darkness. They descend from the skies. They have a hunger for human flesh. They are everywhere. They are parasites, alien creatures who must invade and take control of a human host to survive. And once they have infected their victims, they, they can assume any deadly form they choose. Monsters with giant teeth, winged demons, creatures with blades for hands, but most have chosen to conceal their lethal purpose behind ordinary human faces. So no one knows their secret except an ordinary high school student. Shin is battling for control of his own body against an alien parasite. But can he find a way to warn humanity of the horrors to come? So basically... It's um, about a high school boy dealing with puberty. <laughs> um, let's see, it's action, drama, horror, sci-fi, psychological shining. Huh. Well, if it's a shining by Madhouse, it, it's probably going to be great. So, so I, I'm going to check that out. I know, I know Madhouse picks some good shining. Some shining. Shiro Bako by P.A. Works. Fi and it's an original. P.A. Works don't normally do originals, do they? 
whatever. Uh, five girls chase their dreams. The story revolves around the everyday troubles and hardships that occur when working in the anime industry and the results and conflicts that happen day to day among the group of girls. So it's about some cute girls uh, making anime. Somehow I don't see that being a thing that actually happens ever. <laughs> oh, this one looks good. <laughs> uh, Aura Twin Tails Ni Narimasu by Production IMS. Mitsuka Soji is a first year high school student who greatly loves the Twin Tails hairstyle. One day a beautiful girl, Thurl, Thurl, Earl, who... <laughs> who comes from another world, suddenly appears in front of him and gave him the power to transform into the Twin Tails Warrior, Tail Red. Now Soji, with the help of his childhood friend, Tsubaika, who can become the Twin Tails Warrior, Tail Blue, must fight in order to protect the peace on Earth. <laughs> uh... He really loves Twin Tails hairstyles, so he becomes Twin Tails Fighting Girl. It's a light novel adaption, of course. Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso by A1 Pictures. Piano prodigy Arima Kosei dominated the competition and all child musicians knew his name. But after his mother, who was also his instructor, passed away, he had a mental breakdown while performing at a recital that resulted in him no longer being able to hear the sound of his piano even though his hearing was perfectly fine. Aww. Even two years later, Kosei hasn't touched the piano and views the world in monotone. What? He also has eye problems? What is this? And without any flair or color, he was... Uh, oh, it's depression. It's depression. I get it. He's depressed. Because his mama died. Okasan. Oh, um, he was content at living out his life with his good friends Tsubaki and Watari until one day a girl changed everything. Miyazono Kaori is a pretty free-spirited violinist who's playing... I feel like I've seen... Hasn't this anime been done a bunch of times before? Piano boy and, and a violin girl? Alright, um, who's playing style reflects her personality. Kaori helps Kosei return to the music world and show that it should be free and mold-breaking, unlike the structured and rigid style Kosei was used to. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's like the violin girl he's into is like destroying the style of music that his mother taught him. That's conflicting. That's conflicting conflictions. Uh, I guess I'll give it a try. Sure. Why not? I'm always interested to see how they do, you know, music stuff in, in anime. Sanzoku no Musume Ranja by Studi Studio Ghibli. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Studio Ghibli don't normally do the animes. They're, they're normally above doing the, the TV show animes. Let's see what they've got. Let's see... I'm not I'm not really into Ghibli stuff that much cuz it's always like girls in forests with creatures and uh, castles and uh I'm just not really but let's see what this is about. All right. The story is about a girl no shit, it's Studio Ghibli, named Ranja, who is the daughter of a chief of a tribe of bandits who lives in a huge castle, no shit, Studio Ghibli, in the forest, no shit, Studio Ghibli, with the bandits. The story follows Ranja as she encounters mystical creatures, no shit, Studio Ghibli, makes friends with another young child like herself, no shit, Studio Ghibli, and experiences life in the forest, no shit, Studio Ghibli. <laughs> Like, I like the girl creature forest thing when it was Totoro. Uh, and, but then I also liked, you know, Porco Rosso, Pompoco, Yamadas. And then Ghibli just sort of started doing the girl forest creatures 
thing over and over again. And I just not. I don't know. Girlfriend Kari by Silverlink. An anime adaption of the mobile game Girlfriend Kari, a game where the player has a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. No, not gonna be watching that new. Yuki Yuna wa Yusha de Aru by Studio Gokumi. The story takes place in the era of the gods, year 300. Yuna Yuki lives an ordinary life as a second year middle school student. What? But she's also a member of the Hero Club, where club activities involve dealing with a mysterious being called Vertex. What? Wait, hold on, what? The story takes place in the era of the gods, year 300. She's an ordinary school student in the year 300 era of the gods. What? There's a mysterious being called Vertex, even though it's the year 300, the era of the gods. What is... I don't even... I don't even... Yeah, so, so that's the fall season of 2014. A bunch of sunrise shows not gonna be watching. Animes. Marex, I guess?